Shape Shape as a project was started to reduce health inequalities in, in the city's uh, most deprived communities. Uh, with the chronic pain health trainer work, that's, that's expanded to cover other parts of the city where people living with long-term pain live and so we provide support to, to people of all ages in, in different parts of, of the city. I think um, we'd identified a significant need with chronic pain, with one in seven people suffering from it, the, the second most um, area of need claimed for uh, incapacity benefit. And we got a huge uh, demand on the services in the city that we couldn't meet, the specialist hospital services. Um, and we, we'd already got health trainers in the city and ShipShape providing those. And some of the other evidence locally um, from Kirk Lees was showing how this might work. So it was really led by Ollie Hart, who's a local GP, who, who put the two things together and, and approached me about setting this service up. We, we know in primary care that we're moving much more to a coaching approach to long-term conditions and with chronic pain being one of the massively unmet areas of need in long-term conditions I can see a place for health trainers uh, as we move forward in a more coaching care planning approach for, for chronic diseases like, like chronic pain. We put together a team, a multidisciplinary team of health trainers, GPs, commissioners, physiotherapists, community nurses, etc. And we recognised that combining those strengths and skills gave us a really strong background, really strong service. Shipshape employee, uh, we've got 10 members of staff here and then uh, around 30, 30 volunteers. So um, a lot of the, what we try, what we've been able to do through our volunteering programme is by, by skilling up our volunteers, a lot of those people have gone on to, to gain employment with us. Working, working as a GP, seeing a lot of people with chronic pain, it's been fantastic having the backup of the health trainer service. Uh, GPs are really good at doing the medical stuff and the medicines and the biological stuff. We have less time in our 10 minutes to deal with the much wider psychosocial issues and it's been fantastic having the backup of the health trainers and their coaching approach to, to the wider issues. There's always a temptation to have, try something new and want to come out feeling better than when you went into a session. Um, so it wasn't immediate, but just over a period of months, it, I just began to realise the benefits of it. You know, it, it sort of slowly came in uh, more along the lines of the acceptance. I've been, I've had this illness for uh, just over a decade, and uh, the mental battle of trying to get over it and get well is, is of course, the main aim. But what Daniel's helped me realise is that, that that's not the main aim. Try accepting that you are ill and modifying your life and circumstances around the illness. It was a bit surprising actually. What we found that people that were interviewed valued most of all was how it supported them to increase their confidence, to their motivation, to connect them with other people. And it was those social aspects of it that made a big difference that then they were ready to set some goals and look at how they might improve their health. From the chronic pain stats from the, the last uh, three years it's been going. Um, we've managed to see massive data collection and also differences in people's well-being. You know, there's a 65% rise in, in people's uh, well-being in terms of the mental health. Um, general health, there's a, a rise about 43% and self-efficacy, which is about confidence and motivation, is about 25 to 26%. I just didn't know. To be honest with you, I just didn't know which way to turn, and I'm being truth, truthfully honest. I'd gone from being a person who worked, who basically what I call had a life, had a back operation and I didn't have a life, and I was low. So Sam, I saw Sam on weekly or two weekly sessions. Basically, she's not someone who you just go and you see and you're not connecting with. She's, she was like a friend. Um, the pilot scheme usually runs by um, finding one of your clients that needs support with swimming, maybe they want a buddy, um, and you'd refer them over, um, get in contact with one of the health champions, then they'd take them over to the swimming baths and then they'd usually go and do swimming together and it's just a way of building confidence really. 
What I really like about the health trainers is, is that uh, you're uh, making the most of people who are linked into the community, who uh, are not medically trained or nursing trained, who understand the issues on a more um, personal level really. Um, we've got health trainers who have chronic pain themselves and they really understand the issues from a, from a person perspective rather than from perhaps the medical perspective that, that clinicians bring to it. And I've seen that being really powerful for moving patients along and helping them to feel more confident uh, and just to get a, um, a, get a footing in, in being able to kind of cope with living with chronic pain.